So next operator that I want to discuss and that operator is known as a instance of operator. Each and every character is lower case in this instance of operator and there is no space in between. What is the instance of? Instance of operator is used to check that the given object is of the given class or not. For example, I have one class and the class is for example employee. I have one class and the class is for example product. Now I am creating the instance of employee in the class taste. So I have one class that is taste. Here in taste class I have main method. So I am writing here public static void main and here you can write string array ox this is your main. Now I am writing that so I am creating an object of employee class. So I am writing here employee and that the name of the employee is for example employee para is equal to new employee. So I am creating an object of employee class. So is Parag is an instance of employee? Yes, Parag is an instance of employee. Now I am creating one more object that is product and the product is for example keyboard is equal to new product. So keyboard is a new product. I am creating an instance using constructor. Now I want to check that the Parag is an instance of employee. So here you can just write that the Parag and you can call the operator that is instance of. So you can write Parag instance of employee. So instance of operator will return. It returns either true or false. Is Parag is an instance of employee? Yes, Parag is an instance of employee. Then it returns true. I am writing here keyboard. Keyboard is an instance of product? Yes. Keyboard is an instance of product. Then also it returns true. But suppose if you are writing like this, that the keyboard is an instance of employee, then it will not return false and then it will not return even true. It will give you an error. Why? Because there is a no relation between the keyboard and employee. So if it is a no relation between the keyboard and employee, then compiler will not compile this particular code. So what we can do over here, let me show the same thing practically. I'm just saving the file first. So I'm just click on control S. Now here this is instance of dem dot java. I am creating here class that is instance of demo. Now I can write here that is main method. Now I am writing here one class that is employee. I am creating one more class and that is product. Now I want to create an instance. So I am just writing here that is employee parag is equal to new employee. I am writing here product keyboard is equal to new product. Now I am checking. What I am checking is parag. It means system.out.println parag instance of employee. Is parag is the instance of employee? Yes. Then it will return true. Let me check for the another instance and that is keyboard. Is keyboard is the instance of product? Yes, keyboard is the instance of product. You can save this. Now you can compile this program that is Java C instance of demo.java and you can run Java instance of demo. Then it will return true. 
but listen carefully students you cannot use the instance which is not in a relation with the class for example suppose if i am writing that keyboard is an instance of employee then it will not written true not written false compiler will not allow you to compile this program so you will get an error that the incompatibility why because keyboard is an instance of product class and employee is the class that is different so if you are matching with this compiler will give you an error you cannot do this so in which case we will get the false in instance of operator so it is very simple for example if your given instance is in relation with the class then it will return true there is a no relation between the instance and class then compiler will not allow you to run this particular program so here you can just put the comment now i want to declare here class which is in a relation suppose if i am declaring here one class that is parent and i am declaring here one class that is child now there are two different class one is parent another one is child so i am creating an instance parent for example shiva is equal to new parent so it is an instance of parent now i am writing here child ganesha is equal to new child so there are two different objects there are two different objects let me put this all in a comment so there are two different objects one is for the parent another is of child now i'm just checking system dot out dot print line now i'm just checking that siva is the instance of that is parent is it true yes siva is an instance of parent now i'm just checking ganesha is an instance of that is child yes ganesha is an instance of child yes it is correct so whenever you compile this particular code and whenever you run this you will get true true the same result that we were getting earlier that is for the employee and product but suppose if you are writing that the ganesha is the instance of parent is ganesha is an instance of parent logically it is true why because ganesha is an instance of siva but compiler will not allow you to do this why because there is an incompatible type and that is there are two different class in which situation you can get this so it is very simple if your child is in relation with the parent it means if child is extending from the parent then this code will be compiled and you will get the result that yes ganesha is a child of parent siva and it will be true but suppose if you are checking like this that siva is an instance of child then it is wrong in this case compiler will not give you an error but you will get the result that is false it means is siva is an instance of ganesha no is ganesha is an instance of siva yes so in this case you will get true so siva is an instance of parent yes it is true ganesha is an instance of child yes it is true ganesha is also an instance of parent yes it is true but siva is an instance of child no so you will get false 